is the X2 Me Mill, and today what we're going to do is retrofit the uh, gear drive and replace it with uh, a belt drive system. So why do we want to replace it anyway? Well, the reason is several fold. Firstly, the drive with its gear system is quite noisy. Noisy gearing. Measuring the RPM with the uh, gear system. Low range first. Measures 1019 RPM. On the high range. Also in the kit, we get a full set of instructions, a couple of pulleys, uh, the assembly itself, a belt, and the fixings required to fit the uh, belt drive. Firstly, we lower the mill to its lowest level, turn off the power, and remove the cable top. Speed range selector is selected to the high speed setting, which is at the back of the uh, switch box here. Remove the drawbar and loosen the 3mm hex nut on the side of the spindle. Insert the uh, Tommy bar and loosen off the nut on the top here. It's a left hand thread using the spanner provided by the mill. Remove the nut. And loosen off the four head bolts using a five millimeter hex wrench. Remove all four bolts. Next we're going to lift off the motor assembly. And I've just put a box on the side here to give me something to rest it on so that this cable is not stretched. Motor removed, we can see the third reason for uh, fitting the uh, belt drive. This plastic intermediate gear here which joins onto the motor which sits about here and uh, it's only plastic and if it gets uh, jammed, if the job gets work gets jammed in the chuck or in a tool then that can uh, shear its teeth quite easily. Next job is to remove that gear which is held down by Phillips bolt Carefully remove the gear. And the uh, key steel from the shaft. To remove to the motor and we have to remove this uh, clip that's on the uh, drive of the from the motor. I use a pair of needle nose pliers, uh, obviously better if you've got a proper circuit pliers. Next we pull off the, the gear from the end of the motor drive. Remove the steel sleeve that's over the main uh, shaft here. We're now ready to fit the belt drive. Uh, first job is just to uh, put this little plastic piece of tubing that comes in the kit over the shaft that's the plastic gear was removed from. So I push the tube right down over the uh, top of the shaft there. Next we position a base plate assembly onto the mill head and secure it using the four uh, countersunk screws provided. Tighten those down using 4mm 
hex wrench. Line the large pulley with the keyway and fit down onto. We can now reinstall the spanner nut. Remember, it's left hand thread. So it screws up the wrong way. We'll now position the small pulley onto the motor shaft. First remove the casting from the uh, motor which is no longer required. Make sure the pulley goes all the way on. One rub with this kit is uh, an American uh, supplied so the uh, grot screw holding the pulley on is 3.30 seconds. So it's the only non-metric item in the kit which is a bit of a drag. Next we position the motor onto the uh, motor mount plate. Before tightening up, we position the belt. Later assembly. Fit the belt adjusting lever. Last step to do is to fit the cover plate and adjust up the. Uh, Job's done, just test it. Just fit the collet with the reflective tape on to measure the RPM. This is the low range. Measuring 1500 RPM, 1521. Shifting the uh, drive belt to the high range, we'll see what uh, RPM we get on that. We're going to speed up nice and slowly because of the extra speed on this. Just under 4,000 RPM, that's nearly twice the speed. And considerably quieter running. No risk of uh, smashing the plastic gears. And most of the work can be done in the low speed range.